Hey guys, it's Warren here again with Copeland Small Engine Repair. Welcome back. Uh, today's just gonna be a quick video to show you how to test uh, for spark on a push mower when you work by yourself. Uh, I work out here alone, I don't have any help, and you know, it's not a big deal, but sometimes, you know, it'd be nice to have another set of hands out here, especially when you're trying to check spark on a push mower, because uh, you gotta hold the bell down and pull the rope back there, but you need to be up here so you can see if it's got spark. Uh, so the way I do this, I take a pair of vice grips and clamp down the operator bell up here. I uh, take the spark plug out so the engine will spin nice and easy. I've got it tilted back on my lift table, and I take the blade off, uh, you could do this with the blade on, but I don't recommend that. I don't recommend being anywhere near a blade that's spinning, no matter what's spinning it. I'm going to be spinning this engine with a drill. Uh, but even then, I don't like to have my hands anywhere near a blade that's spinning, whether you're spinning it with a drill or the engine or whatever. So take the blade off, then put the crankshaft bolt back in it and tighten it up with an impact wrench. And then I get my drill, has a little socket adapter stuck in it, so I can use the same socket on the crankshaft bolt. And this lets you spin the engine and check for spark without having to take all this crap off and all this gas tank off, just so you can get to that crank bolt and spin it with that. You just spin it with the crank bolt on the bottom. But make sure you take your blade off. Now the guy brought me this, somebody gave it to him. Uh, he put a brand new carburetor on it. It wouldn't run, so he brought it to me. So I can see what's going on. Uh, first thing I did was a cylinder leak down test on it. It passed. So now I'm checking for spark. We have no spark. So I know either the ignition coil is bad, the gap is off, or the kill wire going to the coil is shorted out somewhere and it's grinding out the coil. Uh, but now I know that, you know, I need to take all this off and it won't be a waste of time because I got a problem with no spark. Anyway, that's my little video for today. Just show you how to check spark on a push mower when you work alone. Uh, it only takes, you know, a few minutes. Jack it up, pull the blade off, put the bolt back in, tie the bell down, spin it, check for spark, you're done. And get on with your life. Catch me later.